Welcome, folks, to the final Zero Takedown Ghost. I am Grease Scotsman, Not exactly. and we are about to set our sights Adam? on Panchea. Oh my God, Adam! It's Spoiler alert: We are at the final level, so everything what will come happened? unraveled right here, I right now. For you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No, no, Adam. I swear it. My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it. In you, Adam. It took you to so for the record, I, uh, I figured that out in the you? elevator. The very you first don't. elevator ride. He owns this facility. <laughs> he was only pretending to work it's with Tanya and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help. But only to make sure they never succeeded. I'll reset your software. It'll put things right again. Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Saraf here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. Oh, God. He's modified the control signal. Anyone with the new biochip will be affected. You never said anything about this. I'm going back for the scientists. No, Adam. I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us. Access granted. Apparently you need to stand on a chair. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, grab the uh, the credits. There's 18, uh, 1800 credits in there, along with an ebook. And then this, you definitely want to hack this uh, this computer over here. You get uh, quite a bit of information about the story. Access and at this point, go ahead and burn your nukes. You've got very few things you need to hack. Uh, in my case, I had like 30 or something, so I just start using them with wanton abandon. Now we're gonna finally get a chance to, to play a little bit here. I guess technically I cut off the last video before we got to the ne next quote-unquote level, but I didn't want to include all the spoilers that were just explained in the last video, just in case someone was watching them and hadn't quite completed the game yet. So really all you gotta do here is uh, hit the button and all of a sudden the scientists are free. I'm like, why isn't this door opening? I'm like, oh, let's take a peek outside. Oh yeah, the scientists are running to get away. I don't know who's going to be flying that thing, but whatever. Adam, I'm getting my team out of here. You have to go to Panchea and stop Hugh. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks, but you have to stop the broadcast. I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes, and it's up to you to stop it. Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. So there's actually Good multiple luck, ways through here, but I'm actually going to uh, cut away. If you look behind where you come out, you'll see a crate here. And there's uh, probably the most challenging hack in the game, uh, as it's just a ton of transfers, pretty much, the entire way. And you got to get to the center. Access it's not too hard to do, but... You'll probably want to just burn your nukes to get there. Okay, so back to the rest of the walkthrough. Uh, you only have two guys that really path anywhere, and I'm going to show you sort of an overview. You're trying to get to the other side of the hangar bay. You can choose either side. It's just a matter of SWAT turning, pretty much. So you've got a couple of patrols that will, uh, even though they're in their sort of insane state, they will kind of go back and forth, so you got to watch out for them. I'm trying to get covered closer to the edge of this thing, but it's not happening, so I, I figure, well, if I can swat turn here, that's good enough. But uh, in this sort of insane state, they are uh, a lot easier to put on alert 
and they go hostile really fast, so you don't ever want to be spotted by these guys. Most of them don't have weapons, though, so that's kind of handy. I'm waiting for this one patrol to come close. There he is. And this patrol behind him needs to turn around. So once their backs are turned, go ahead and SWAT turn across. And here you're pretty much set. This guy uh, won't look over at you once you're up the stairs. So you're good to go. And that's it for completing this section. Um, again, this is sort of the tail end of the... Uh, I went and did some exploring and you know, I cut it out there. Um, this is the tail end of the previous online. mission after you destroy Dara the uh, Namir boss. One, one a preset and ready to engage. Suborbital trajectory plotted. Destination Panchea. Begin countdown, Mr. Darrow. Why yes. Begin Let's countdown. Begin countdown. Code zero zero zero. Confirm zero. Countdown commencing. All right, so time to go on a little bit of a rocket ride. I thought this CG sequence was done masterfully well. I love how they use some of the ideas uh, from some of the companies that are out there currently working on suborbital flight. And it's nice to see that uh, kind of taken into account when designing this. So yeah, you kind of missed the mark slightly, but <laughs> you start right here. Jensen. Jensen, can you read me? Barely. I've reached Panchea, Pritchard. Any word from Sarah for the UN delegates? Nothing. The installation went into lockdown shortly after Darrow gave his speech. I can't tell if anyone's even alive. And the signal's still broadcasting. Meaning no one's safe to so like I'm gonna show off one down. way in. You'll have to disengage the lockdown first. Look over here. Look for a you master control panel there. at the top of the tower. And you probably want to have the immunity from electricity if you try to go down there because there's quite a few, uh, traps and mines and whatnot. However, if you have the ability to jump high, then you can run over here and just hop up on the crates and it's a lot more expedient way in. And you also get, of course, the gas grenades and combat rifles if you so need them. I don't plan on firing a shot, so whatever. And you'll notice that this vent is open. You can just hop in here. And I kind of liked this entrance a lot more than the others. Seems to give a, a nice quick and easy way in. It saves a lot of time, basically. The other route you're having to disarm mines and kind of go slowly. And this uh, upper area gives you access to this whole room. I actually found this after uh, my first playthrough. Because again, the designers did such a fantastic job. Not go down the stairs just yet. You're going to backtrack a little bit later and, and go down them. But for now, we're going to hop up the elevator here. It's going to take us into the tower. Pritchard, Panchea's broadcast center is at the base of the station near the bottom of the ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override the magnet. From up in the tower. I got it. All right, so I'm going to cut that uh, elevator ride short. They are extremely long. And you really don't have to be cautious at all here yet. You can, in fact, completely just run through. But I didn't really want to change my cautious and quiet style, even though I knew I could be safe here. So 
So this guy is actually inside that room and he won't really bother you. Whenever you enter the room near him, he will have his back turned. So pretty much you just want to make sure that you don't make noise. And that's about it. I'm checking to see if there's anything here to steal. Looks like there's not. So this will get you into the room where the uh, where the guy is at, and it gives you an idea that okay, pretty much everyone is crazy here. And he doesn't ever turn around. I'm checking to see if he does. He does not. But most importantly, it's some plasma capsules. I don't want it. Okay. Okay. I hear it. Look, we're gonna go around. We're gonna go around. So yeah, I'm uh, cutting out my exploration a little bit of this room. There's a pocket secretary that gives you a code to another room. And here's where if you picked up that pocket secretary with the first crazy guy, uh, you would actually have a door code here, but it's always worth the tack. And I now have 19 Praxis points I don't know what to do with. <laughs> So, we're about to make our way over to the lockdown area. However, this is the first real piece of opposition. There's a turret around this corner that will blow Access you away grant. unless you hop into this room and find the security uh, computer that allows you to disable it. So with that turret disabled, now we can make an exit and around the corner. And periodically you want to check bodies, especially with soldiers, because they are usually still carrying ammo or weapons. But uh, not in that case. And this camera's already off when you get here, so here we go. Time for a confrontation with Mr. Devil. 
So with the uh, typical zero takedown ghost style, I'm going to go for a silver tongue here so I don't have to hurt anybody. I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes so into the sea. those that aren't up on their I'm Greek mythology, now. there's Ghost and Smooth Operator, by the you way. Can't. The Daedalus was the father of Icarus, at the base who of fashioned facility. wings from uh, security feathers, has been wax, to and it. string, and, and warned his son as he tried to make an escape to not fly too close to the sun, to otherwise the wax would melt, can't force to not change. too close they to the to sea, otherwise the water would dampen the feathers, and they would not survive. Daedalus was known for crafting really amazing things, but then were often used in a way where it caused people great peril or um, danger. No, this isn't what I wanted. I, I saw the future, the danger to us all. Could my motives really be so tainted? I, I will give you what you want, Mr. Jensen. Codes to shut down Panchea's security system. But you'll still be in danger. Much of the system is self-determining and lethal. When you see it, maybe then you'll understand. So you can talk, talk him down and get a silver tongue. Richard, the lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. See, that's me going the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops. I'm like, oh, I'll just run through here. No problem. And then, whoa, hang on. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, don't do that. Uh, once this guy's back is turned, you can make it all the way. You can actually make it into the next room before he turns. And if you'll notice that these, all these... NPCs have been strategically placed where they really don't like there's always a pathway through them you need to look for the one or two that might move otherwise every other one of them is going to be stationary so you can pretty much ignore them they mostly act as roadblocks and you have to find another way past them so here I'm looking for that one guy that's going to be pathing he's already moved away so I make him a beeline for the elevator. I'm gonna cut out the ride so you don't have to wait 20 seconds. <laughs> so you start to see down below, there's a couple of guys. We're gonna have to work our way through. So now we're back to the staircase that we passed earlier, and this time we're gonna go down it. So there's one of the pathing guys. As soon as his back is turned, you're clear to move across. And I'm waiting for the guy to path back. Here he comes. Because he looks right over here, so... As soon as he turns around, then you can move up here, and there's a vent that you can get into. So this you just want to push kind of lightly. You don't want to push it over. If you push it over, they will be alerted. But uh, once you get that done, you can get through here. Now, up ahead, I'm a little bit sloppy. I found out later that you can get through. You can get through here without this guy ever spotting you. You seem to time your SWAT turn a little bit better than what I did. 
I was looking for like when he was looking down, but that's when I should have gone right there. I think I tried to do it again, but I, yeah. So notice how when his head is turned, he turns back too quickly. When he looks down, that's when you can go without him ever spotting you. And I was kind of pissed off. I, I accidentally picked up the damn block rather than closing the vent, but oh well. So that one can be avoided. Now this one, when you hack the door, you want to leave this vent open. When you hack the door, it will automatically trigger a guy to want to suddenly come out and be friends. Access so, just be aware of that. You need to hide somewhere. So now that he's gone, finally, <laughs> you can close the vent and close the door. However, closing the door will alert another guy. So it's kind of up to you whether or not you want to do it. Uh, I chose to close the door. Of course, that doesn't really have a whole lot of effect because, as you can see, there's a guy about to come over here anyway to reopen the door, so there's really no use to it. And so here, if you stand up, you'll be spotted. So you want to... Um, hug the crate in order to get a better angle to pick up anything that's on that uh, surface. Alright, so here I'm just going to show that it is possible to kind of go around and come through this way. As uh, you might expect, there are tons of different ways through. So now you're kind of up in the cargo rafters above where you uh, just passed through. But there are still plenty of guys that you need to get past. There's really only one guy that paths back and forth that could be any sort of bother to you. He's moving away right now, so I decided to make my move. And of course there's a trust event waiting for me. So I cut some footage there. Pretty much whenever he's facing away, you're good to go. He's the only guy uh, that gets in your way. Now here I'm going to show an alternate path. If you hop up here, you'll notice that there's uh, you can go through the ceiling tiles. And this is actually near where I first entered. And down the hallway there, there's a body with a rocket launcher. So if you're short on rockets, you can go and grab that. So here I'm waiting for the guy to turn around. He starts to path away. And you just make your way out. You want to make sure you don't run because they will hear that. And we're through that section. So pretty easy stuff so far. Got some ammo in this closet. Or, excuse me, locker, whatever. And the computer on the far end. So there's one guy kind of facing away, but he's behind the wall. No need to worry about him. Uh, he's actually in this locker room. And if you want to go in there, you can kind of dance around him and open up all the lockers and steal whatever's in there, but it's not really worth it. I didn't see anything in there that was quite worth my time. You do need to be careful to not open the door uh, when he is looking, because he will get very pissed off about that. And here, you have access to the final two Praxis Kits. You see the Limb Clinic sign up ahead. 
And oh, what's this? The poor woman has barricaded herself <laughs> with a soda machine. That was pretty impressive, I have to say. I'd like to know how she put that in place. You seem relatively normal, Nishbar. All things considered, yeah. You okay? Thankfully, I was able to barricade myself in here when things got out of control. Is it possible to download Praxis software here? Yes, of course. So, go ahead and grab, you know, your Praxis points, read the computers that are in there. There's an ebook or two. And I guess at this point I have like 16 Praxis points. I think I end up with like 20 by the end of all this. That I just this don't even use. Tagged. All right. So here's where the mission really kind of begins. You get a note from Taggart that they have locked themselves inside a server room. And you do go get him. Or at least go visit him. Save us. Please save us. So there's some ammo on the crates to my left. And there's an overview. We're going to cut across. We need to stay on the t You see that we're on the top level? You want to stay on the top level in order to reach Taggart. If you drop down, then you'll miss him. And you'll actually miss out on one of the possible endings if you don't go talk to Taggart and Seraph. So they each present an ending in kind of true Deus Ex style. By the way, I have not hacked this door yet. Uh, I'm curious to know what's behind it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hack it on my next playthrough when I'm not worried about uh, being stealthy. So once this guy is moving away... And you can make your move. You can walk right next to these guys. They won't notice you. Now, one thing is you want to kind of hug the wall here. Because, yeah, these guys will definitely spot. They're a lot more observant, I think. For example, a little bit later on, when I was playing through, I went over near this staircase. And I wasn't hugging the wall closest to those crazy guys. And they saw me, so... This right here with the fallen beams is where you want to go in order to reach Tiger. So down here there's a couple of cameras and then there's something moving back and forth on the left hand side. I have no idea what it is. But I saw, like, the beam of light, and I was thinking, well, is that some sort of, like, laser or something? Is that going to harm me? So I actually avoid it. I don't have any idea if you have to. I probably was just trying to, you know, make myself, I don't know, make it a little bit more challenging or something. But either way, you can just sprint into the door. No problem. Easy to do. So here there's one guy that passed back and forth, you gotta look for him, here he goes, he's walking away, so I know it's clear to move on ahead. I'm looking to see if he's not going to turn around really quickly, and he does not, so. This is useful just for the XP. You can see there's level 5 hack points pretty much for this whole thing, so... I decide to take the last node normally, and I pick up the other goodies, the stop worm and the credit stash. Access granted. So you can leave all these on, with the exception of the one that's pointed at, at uh, Taggart. I decide to disable that one. I don't know if it would cause an alarm by going in there and talking to him, but... You know, since there is a camera pointed at him, I didn't want to take any chances. I made sure the robots are disabled. Here, you want to jump high to get past these guys. And I think there's, if you don't have the ability to jump high, I think you can grab a, uh, I think you can grab a block. So once you're up here, I don't think you can be spotted. And you just want to uh, go all the way to the end, so you can use this as a way to drop so you don't make any noise as you descend. As you can see, there's a place to punch through the wall. Now here, again, you can check these soldiers and pick up uh, ammo. Do a little bit of inventory management here. Access 
Access granted. Mr. Jensen, how ironic that you should be the one to save us from the monsters out there. Monsters, Taggart? You mean people. Augmented people who've lost all control, lost their reason. Isn't that supposed to be my line? Unfortunately, it seems your esteemed Mr. Darrow decided to appropriate my point and turn it back on me. In madness and in blood. He has betrayed us all. So you finally admit it. You are part of this, after all. You have been all along. It would be pointless to deny anything now, but despite what you think, without control, there's no room for freedom, only anarchy. You were a policeman once. You know the importance of order. I know there's a difference between order and slavery. The biochip wasn't supposed to force people to do anything. It merely limited power so that people couldn't go on killing sprees like the ones taking place right now. Amazing how well that worked out. Say what you will, but I know that some part of you agrees with me. Absolute freedom is no different than absolute chaos. Society needs boundaries if it has any hope of surviving. And you, Mr. Jensen, can be the one to give us that hope. Shut down Darrow's signal. Then help me get a message out saying that an accident at VersaLife contaminated the world's neuropazine supply. VersaLife? And what if I decided to blame the Illuminati? The Illuminati is just a name to get rich financiers to invest more money. Besides, do you really think the world will believe in some 18th century conspiracy theory? Do this for us, and you'll ensure a future for mankind, all of mankind, augmented or otherwise. The future Hugh Darrow offers doesn't allow for both. Let me think about it. All right, so that is Taggart's point of view, and it's going to be one of the choices that you have at the end of the game. Alright, so now we're going to pick up where we kind of left off from this area. We want to drop down because the exit is a level below us. But to do that, I found that if you just try to jump off the edge or something, you're going to be seen or heard, one or the other. And yeah, I'm trying to be careful because this guy over there, will uh, he tends to spot, tends to spot people, so... Move on down to the next level. No one will see you on the staircases, by the way. And where we're trying to head is over here, past all these guys. However, getting over there is a bit of a task, so I decide, well, I've had enough of this life, time to make a jump. So no one will see or hear that, thankfully. And you can use this crate to hop back up to the uh, level just below where we want to go and as you can see these boxes have been stacked ever so nicely in order to provide a route where you can stay crouched and just hop like recklessly uh, up here and I'm looking to see if there's anyone that paths I don't think there is so I think you can literally just go because everyone's facing the other way Please! 
And I found this to be a bit intriguing. How we know that Mr. Seraph certainly had augments. Yet, uh, I guess he was smart enough to not get the new biochip. <laughs> At his software reset, perhaps? I suppose when you're the architect of all these nefarious things. Or one of the architects, I should say. You get the special treatment where you don't have to go crazy. So this room, uh, it's not too bad. There are a couple of things to keep in mind. I'm waiting for the one guy to turn away before I open the door. He might notice it. They seem to be pretty good at hearing. There's a couple different ways across and around here. I choose to go up and over because, I don't know, I just was feeling spry, I guess. Uh, there's multiple ways through the room, though. So here you can just either walk through or you can swat turn through, either way. Waiting for him to path away. He finally moves away. Uh, don't play with fire. At least don't play in the fire. Both are harmful to your health. So the important thing is you want to make sure that the one guy pathing in the center of the hallway is moving away, and then there's one more guy that kind of pops out from the far side of the room. He's kind of in the crowd over there. So I, that's who I was looking for. Here... There's a nice bit of cover that you can use in order to get out of this area. So I'm going to cut some footage, get these guys to be moving away. And you can use this for cover as you make an exit. And as soon as he turns around, then you're clear to move over. You don't want to take the path over to the left because that one's fraught with mines and you will eventually make a disturbance because uh, there's one mine that's very difficult to get to from like it's uh, it's tacked on to the opposite side of a crate that you don't really have means of getting there without jumping and of course if you jump that upward movement will set them off so use this vent to get in here Adam oh, thank God and this will unlock came. another ending I've option. got wounded here we'll have to move them first we can't move anyone yet not until I get to the base of the station and shut down Darrow's broadcast. What? Why? The chaos you experienced here? It's everywhere. The Illuminati created a biochip that stops people from using enhanced abilities, and Darrow turned it into a kill switch. Oh my god, you. Tell them the Humanity Front did this. That their doctors created a virus that only affects augmented people. You mean lie. Uh, it'll give us time, son. Time to figure out how to destroy the Illuminati's biochips and move on. And what about the people who've been hurt by this? Don't they deserve the truth? I had them. If we want the freedom to become more than we are, we can't be blinded by a misguided morality. Some people will be left behind. It's reality. It's evolution, son. Right. Evolution based on my DNA. Please, son. You have to stay with me on this. I'll think about it. All right, so that is the conversation with Seraph. And now we can move on with the rest of the mission, which is to, of course, go shut down the broadcast. The doorway that I just passed, if you listen closely, there was a nice little beep, beep, beep. And if you open the door, <laughs> kablooey. So a little bit of inventory management here. And so now we need to backtrack through this room that we just left. Uh, there is another route that takes you to a group of guys up that staircase. Uh, they're kind of standing around this big fan. It's kind of hilarious, but a big fan on the floor is like an exhaust fan or something. 
So yeah, that that's there, but I decided to just backtrack the way I came. And once everyone's back, it's turned. And here you seem to do a SWAT turn and you're out of the room, so I've got to wait for this guy to get the hell out of my face. Get up! Get up! Get up! Who's that? Who's that? Get up! Get up! Get away! Get away from me! Get away! Get away from me! SWAT turn and you're clear. Alright, so no disturbances, no alerts, no alarms. Good times right there. We have both additional endings that you get by talking to Taggart and Seraph. Ending options, I should say. There we go. All right, so now it's time to resume the mission of shutting down this broadcast. And... This is another one of those rooms, like, I had no idea if, uh... Because, like, there was nothing in here. I, I don't know if you can just run through here. But it just sort of seemed ominous having these two things running along the track. I didn't know if that was, like, some sort of security feature or something. So I actually avoid them, and I probably do so completely purposelessly. <laughs> There's probably no reason to avoid them, but whatever. So, oh, look at this! A heavy rifle with some ammo. What are they trying to suggest? Pray tell. So you can see, oh, a little bit of a gas accident there. So if you can breathe gas fumes here, you have the opportunity to mow all these sons of bitches down. Uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll show you in just a second. Level 4 hack, worth it for the XP, good times. Access granted. You get another 400 XP for being a script kitty, good times. Yeah, so here I'm making sure the turrets are disabled. I don't want to shoot all these poor people. I think the turret is automatically disabled even if you go in, if you don't go in here, so... Uh, it's only really more as an offensive weapon if you were to go in here as a way to clear out everyone in a huge massacre. So now, if you'll notice, along this catwalk, there are tons of people in the way, but over on the sides, there are these like little kind of winged scaffolding platforms that you can use to skirt past most of the bad guys. And then it's just a matter of timing and waiting 
for the uh, guy to pass away. And you need to move up this way, hop down. You need to be pretty quick about these movements too. If you're waiting too long, you will be spotted. And this is probably the hardest one. You've got uh, one guy that's backing up now, you've got one soldier there, and then on the right hand side, you've got this guy in blue that's pathing back and forth. Okay, so you've got three guys you need to worry about and try to get exactly right with the timing. And notice how my the timing of that was the soldier and the guy on the left were moving away. And then the guy in blue had been closest to me, and as soon as he turned around and started to move away, that's when you make your move to cut across here. Now for this one, uh, you want to wait until both the civilian and the soldier are together. And that means that they're going to walk away together, and that is your cue. As soon as they, they're going to do a check, so you need to wait for that. As soon as they're done checking, you hop up, and you are through the bridge. And I think a lot of people thought that that part was impossible without Cloak. But uh, it just goes to show, man, if, you, <laughs> if you're patient enough, you can get through without ever being spotted. And you get one final elevator ride of fun. Once the elevator ride begins, you will be on this thing for about a minute. Please enjoy. I cut it down to about five seconds. You're welcome. So here, you want to loot all the bodies in this corridor because there's tons of stuff. However, I'm not even sure that you need a weapon, to be honest. It's, it's a bit silly. I pick up the plasma. I got the painkillers, good times. And there's some plasma capsules. And we are at the final boss, right here, right now. What the hell? Oh my god. Water pressure, Mom. 173 PSI. Who am I? Communications web online. I feel cold. Drones 1 through 3 within operational parameters. I don't remember. Drone 4 disconnected. Let me go. Processing. Oh god, please help me. I'm scared. Core temperature stable. Processing. Zhao, what are you doing? Connecting to Panchea's Haran project, Mr. Jensen. The most advanced quantum computer slave to the human brain, and the closest to perfection we'll ever achieve. I'm going to use it to hack Daryl's signal and rework the message to our benefit. Our benefit? You mean the Illuminati's? Ah! Someone has to override the signal and be the world's savior. And let's be honest. Neither of us would trust anyone else to fill that role. Computer, begin EEG sync. So much pain. Sinking beta waves at 40 cycles per second. Sleep, please. Let me sleep. Incompatible master slave. Change it Alert. Unable to transfer control to alpha uh, The system will recognize my chip. Neural systems offline. Rerouting control of the EEG. I can't control, control the Iron. Increasing glutamate to 52 percent. Sal, get them out of there. I have to reach the control chamber. No! I can feel control! I can control! Stop the signal! Security alert. Through the primary control panel. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alrighty, so... I have to say I was kind of disappointed with this. If you manage to get the immunity from electricity augment, there's Ghost and Smooth Operator, by the way. Security in place. And here, Alpha it doesn't matter if you set up any alarms or anything. You're, you know, it's considered a boss fight, but I still try to do it stealthily. I must be the one to alter the signal. Once I do, the council will welcome me with open arms. If you've gotten the Silver Tongue reward from talking down Darrow, then you have a code that allows you to shut down the life support. If you notice that the objectives are these buttons here, and I think with each one you set off a certain set of security measures. Yeah, 
here I actually get a little bit spotted by this turret, I think. Get a little bit too close. I was kind of mad at myself. Because I was trying to make it so that they never even went yellow to me. Right there, I got too close. So. Yeah. A little too close. But anyway, so... <laughs> once you hack this thing... Even though I had the code for it, by the way. But once you, uh, once you do that, and you have the immunity to electricity, it's like, okay, well, you don't even need to fire a weapon, because what happens is, like, a bot comes out, and a couple of people come out, and they're kind of crazy and everything, but they all get fried by the electricity. And if you have immunity to it, you can literally just sit here the entire freaking time, nothing ever bothers you, and each pulse of the electricity weakens the glass that Zao's behind. So, it's one of those no. boss fights where you can literally just wait it out. I was kind of disappointed, like... I don't know, I... What were they thinking? Okay, so here, here it comes. You get a nice visual warning that you're about to get fried. But... If you have electricity you, immunity, who cares? You just sit here. Halfway to discharge Warning. Primary station event. The other thing I'll mention is that if you have a laser, the laser will pass through the glass. So you can actually just shoot her without even waiting for this thing to uh, break down. Yeah, she's so drunk with her, whatever. So yeah, the boss is circling around. Finally the glass will break here. And now she's exposed, so I can maybe use my plasma gun on her. And I think you can help that barrier along maybe with some gunshots and whatnot, but I decided to just wait it out. I didn't ever want to be spotted by anything in here, so the electricity has killed off everyone except for the bot. And so watch this one clip of the plasma rifle at relatively close range at the head. It's like, alright. And that's done. <laughs> like, I don't even know if you even need to shoot her, to be honest. It just seems kind of silly. I don't know. Oh, this is me standing there as she's about to explode. Why would I do that? So, without even surviving a single point of damage throughout the entire boss fight, I've now broken like eight ribs because I stood in front of her during a cinematic. Which apparently carries over to this next part. And by the way, I'm just going to show you if you happen to try to do this out, if you don't have the augmentation to be immune from electricity or anything like that, then there are places like these little storage lockers where there are bad guys, you can see their bodies, you can loot them and get all that, all the goodies in there. Otherwise, you've just beaten the game. Hello, Adam. Alright folks, that concludes it is not the entirety of the Zero Takedown Zero Ghost Zero. walkthrough. Eliza. I am Grease Scotsman, and I hope you, that you've You're enjoyed it is my this job to series of tutorials. Uh, they were a lot of fun to make. I've gotten a lot of great feedback. I want to say thank you very much to all the people who have tossed up comments on YouTube, uh, the insight and ideas, and a lot of times uh, letting me know about routes that I had never even thought of were available to me. Thank you so much for uh, all your kind words, and it's been a great help, and I've really enjoyed making these things. Everything. But I do really enjoy how you're no given a lot of freedom to choose to how you want to play, and with the exception of boss fights, you are able to However, get through the game uh, completely, like not only message, as a pacifist, the but also as a complete ghost. I mean, with the exception of hacking a few doors and causing a few you. disturbances, I never had to leave a to trail of bodies in my wake. So, my hat goes off to Idas. I really feel like this should be game of the year. I know that there are a lot of heavy hitters coming up in the not-too-distant future, but I feel like 
Deus Ex has certainly cemented itself among the ranks of, of great games, and if nothing else, I'm about to go and play the original Deus Ex uh, once again, I think probably for the fourth or fifth time, so I'm looking forward to that. So once again, thank you, Ibis, and Square Enix, and all the people that helped put this together and make an amazing game. I really, really appreciate it, really loved it, so thanks for all your hard work. And you have yourself one very happy fan. Keep your eyes peeled on the channel, though, because I still plan on doing my alternatives videos. For example, I skipped the police station by doing a silver tongue resolution to that area. Everyone was friendly to me, so I didn't really have to infiltrate it for the main mission. I'm going to post a video that shows a zero takedown stealth method into the police station. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Take care, folks. And might I say, it has been a pleasure. For science!